Vibers. Hey guys, it's me, Violet. Today, we're going to be watching the Super Crew behind the Super Girls. Today, we meet the storyboard artist. Let's watch. Hi, I'm Nicole Sullivan, and I play Supergirl on DC Superhero Girls. Today, we're going to meet the Super Crew behind the Super Girls. Hi. My name is John Anderson. I am a storyboard artist on DC Superhero Girls. I was excited about DC Superhero Girls because I love the secret identities. These girls are just regular girls. They're regular friends. They go to school, they, they have fun, they hang out, and they have this secret life of superheroes and they fight crime and do this amazing stuff. Having to work together, it causes so much conflict, but also so much fun. I got into storyboarding because I love to draw. So one storyboard is just a single drawing. Any drawing can be technically a storyboard. What makes it a storyboard is putting another drawing next to it that you say is part of a story. You look at them sequentially and that is a storyboard. Storyboarding falls pretty early in the process of animation. It comes right after writing because it's your first look at what your cartoon is actually going to look like when it's moving. So in the episode Adventures in Bunny Sitting, Supergirl needs to save Metropolis from being overrun by bunnies. So what I'm going to start doing is start thumbnailing, and I have a page of uh, 12 boxes. So I get my script, and it says, we are in a high angle on the flood of bunnies as it pours through the streets. There's so many different choices as a storyboard artist you have to make. The, they've told me it's a high angle, so we'll probably look down at the street and see a bunch of bunnies. Let's say those are our bunnies. And then I look at that and go, well, that's not that exciting. This is supposed to be an exciting moment. So why don't we try a different angle? What if it's like that? That's kind of an interesting angle. And then I think, well, are the bunnies just going to be moving through here? What if the camera is moving? To show that a camera is moving, I usually just put arrows in there. And then I just want the bunnies to show up. So I will tend to do a little bit of color and just say, let's call the bunnies pink. Now Supergirl flies in. OK, let's draw Supergirl. We're looking at her back here. I probably want to see her face. So maybe we're going to do a cut here and see a shot of her from a different angle. Let's say this is this is her looking down at the bunnies. See her cape flying in the wind. Let's put some motion lines in there so we see, you know, there's things moving behind her. And there she's looking down at the bunnies. Then she's going to say her line. And her line is, time to take out the adorable trash. And so her mouth is open. All right, so we're now into our next step. So what I'm going to do from there is take my thumbnails and, and make them sequential. This will be the first start of what will be our animation. And all that means is showing one shot at a time. And here we see Kara coming in, and she flies down, and we start to see things moving. What I'm going to do is clean up those shots. And I just want to make sure that they're clear. And what I'll do is just either draw over, or in this case, I'm just going to sort of redraw and sort of clean her up, put her more on model. She has this great hair that comes in front of her face. She's got this great brow, and she's she's talking, so we got to put her mouth open. I had her arm sort of there. We want her arm kind of close, because she's in this great pose. Her cape is going out, and we want to give enough an information to the animators so that they kind of have a general idea about the, the feeling, about the emotion, about you know, the action, so it looks a little nicer. We see her, and she says her line, time to take out the adorable. And here we see a cute little drawing of her face, trash. It's so exciting to take something that was a word on a page and make it into something visual for the first time. Time to take out the adorable trash. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and learning about storyboarding. Now that we're together, gonna get that super life! Wow! Well, that was cool. We got to see how the animation was drawn. It was so cool because we got to see behind the scenes and who's played Supergirl. So, we were just talking about Supergirl and the bunnies. Because it was the bunny setting. <laughs> was really cute and funny because he was like he put the thing like let's take out the adorable trash it's cool to see him go from back black lines to the real animation with the colors and all the cartoony stuff would you ever want to do animation leave it in the comments down below 
I can't wait to see who we meet next. Bye guys, thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, always be yourself. Unless you can be a CBO, then always be a CBO. Okay, love you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.